So I am back in the homeschool room one last time being in this space. Oh my goodness. So I got stuff everywhere and I am about to start transferring everything to where it belongs. I've got paint all over me. Don't worry about it. It's on my glasses, my arms, hands. It's okay. We're getting things done. I'm so excited. So my husband's gonna move these cubes. So what I'm gonna do is just start moving the items and pile, putting them in the areas that I want them to go into, like in piles. So we move this cube over. I know exactly which books go where. For those of you who guys are new, this is curriculum stuff. Keep in mind, it's my 11th year homeschooling. I've got five children. Um, and then over here, these are all of our reading books. That's like our library. Here are the manipulatives and um, sensory bin things that I'm taking as well as over here too. And these are just some of the wooden toys, the rugs. So I'm going to set that up in just a few minutes. Forgive me for being rude. Hi and good morning. Welcome to Gracefield. I'm so excited to have you with me for another video. I always forget that I always think this is my family. They've been with me for six years. They know me. They know what's happening. But I always forget that sometimes I get new people and I'm like, man, did you greet them? Did you update them? Did you give them any information so that they're not completely lost? So for those of you who do not know, I am a wife and I am a mommy of five. This is my 11th year homeschooling and I homeschool four of my five children. On this channel, I share all things of faith and homemaking and homeschooling and I'm getting ready to start back up with my animals and my gardens and canning and preserving and all of those things. So really it's a lifestyle channel, but we have never had a living room like we just haven't for about eight, nine years. I was um, a licensed child care provider. And so the child care was in what we would, I guess, typically use as a living room. And then we moved to this new house. The homeschool room has always been in the living room. And my husband really, really desired a living room. So we bought a 10 by 20 shed <laughs> that we were using for my flower shop. And we decided, hey, let's make this into the homeschool room. It was already on the property. We already had it here. And so what we did was we added drywall and we added mud and tape and paint. And we went ahead and we turned that into our homeschool space. So you guys are catching up on that part of the journey and we're doing this together. So what you see me doing is emptying this space over here so that I can take everything and put it to the space over there. there. We are making progress. <laughs> Look at those empty shelves, wow. So here is a view of the schoolroom. It's not perfect. We're not professionals. We just did, tried, and gave our best. And our so best I want enough. to put an art station right here. I have a little corner stand and a desk, so I do want to put that there. The two bookcases are going to go here. I think I want the sensory and reading area to go here. For now, these windows are gonna kind of be blank. Um, and that's just because I wanna have a chalkboard, maybe a cork board, some sort of table here. And yeah, maybe eventually we can do a center here, a center here, um, maybe some sort of center here. So there's not, the place is not perfect. There are some imperfections. We're not professionals. We just tried to do the best that we could. And so now um, I am just wiping things off that are just so dusty and um, all that stuff. And then I'm gonna just start moving things and putting them in this place. So here is the first item to come to the homeschool room. It's our shelf. <laughs> and we had this in here before. And so I'm gonna use this as some tools for an art station. Things 
may change, but for now, this is gonna be our art section. Okay, I have to wipe this. I have to get the paint and dirt off of it. Again, I do have to finish up with the floors. They're a mess, but we're gonna have it clean. We are gonna do some trim work around the windows, all that, but I just wanna see where I'm gonna put everything. And I think I, and for now, I'm gonna put this here because I can get quite a few of my baskets over here i can get probably four baskets there and then maybe eight baskets on this so i think this is going to be really amazing i've got my guy up here hard at work he is getting the ceiling fan hooked back up for us okay so we have the cube in here and i am so excited and you can just see Oh my goodness, how good it looks in here. And that's about the space that it's gonna be at. So I've been just wiping everything down and you can see the floor looks a little okay. bit better. So here is what it looks like with the one chuck on. Still have the other one. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm so sleepy, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So anyway, I have some stuff over here that's not the Bibles. Don't look at that back there. Don't look at that stuff. But this right here is um, grades that I'm not using this year. So I, for the first time, I'm gonna put it in a box. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. And then all of this is what I am using for this year. Actually, I should just put this stuff in a box too because these are actually resources and I should probably put those in a box. Hmm. So, yeah, these are the things that I'm keeping. And then I do have a pile over here of some other things. Well, as some things over here that I am probably going to um, donate or sell. Um, I've spent a lot of money this homeschool year, more than any other year. <laughs> so it would be nice to recover some of that. But I was also thinking about packing um, these up for grandkids. And it's like, well, do you all really want to have something packed for that long? I don't know. So anyway, let me get back to work. I wanted to share one more thing, and that is one more um, pile that I have over here. And basically, it is a bin of things that need to be filed. So I need to put this into the homeschool binders. Oh my goodness, it's a lot of stuff. And I know some people have asked me about the whole the homeschool binders homeschool portfolios so i think i'll share that in a video last but not least here's my trash pal i didn't really have much to throw away but that's okay because um i don't buy a lot of consumables um just yeah hey guys so we have another one another one so now we are gonna have a living room but we got all this stuff. Ah. But we're gonna get it done and we're gonna get these curtains over there too. So before you know it, this place is gonna be another day and look at the progress. Things are starting to take form. I'm so excited about this. Okay, these two bins I'm keeping and you can see there are four here that I let go. Some here, some in the other one. And I have this last little but here I've got a few things here and a few things there and then I'm gonna be basically done putting all the books up the pile of giveaway stuff is so huge and again don't worry about the paint like I said I'm gonna get that up at the end I'm tired now I think that I'm gonna just call this a night and this is what I'm getting rid of in here. So this whole bin full, all this and all this, and I have another whole tote full as well. Okay, I'm gonna end this here, but stay tuned and I'll be back to show you guys all the details and all the extras. I'm so excited. Thank you for joining me for this journey. I love you. And until the next video, blessings.